everyone. Today we are going to make a paper rose or a paper flower and for this activity you need very basic home supplies. A scissor, pencil, scale, glue, some rough paper that I got out of a magazine and if you have some sparkles it will be great or else this could be an option. Taking the green colored sheet of paper, you see this is a rough sheet of paper, we will use one side of the strip and cut it out to make the leaves of the flower. Fold this into half. And draw a leaf on it. We now have two leaves for our paper rose which we will set aside. Using the remainder of the paper, we'll slowly make a thin roll from one end of the diagonal. After this is dried, we take our leaves and position them slightly, one that's slightly lower and one slightly higher and go ahead and paste them. Leave this aside to dry. We now take the other color of, of paper for the flower part of our rose and at approximately one third of the paper we can draw a line and cut it out. The larger part of the paper will be used to create the petals which we'll step into later. Taking your scissors approximately cut very roughly this paper into a circle. Now we'll cut further circles into this paper. Now be sure to stop a little before you reach the end because this part will form the base of the bud. Now to make the bud, we slowly start rolling from this edge of the cutout circle. While the bud of the rose dries, we'll create the petals.
Using a pen or a pencil, we now draw the outline of two petals somewhat like this. For our next step, we will take the petals and stick one flap over another like this. character to the petals we now use our pencil and take a petal place it at the back of the petal and roll slightly this is what it should look like once done we do the same for all petals time to stick the petals on the bud so we take two petals place a little glue on the base of one and paste the edges slightly placing glue at the bottom of the bud we fix the bud onto this petal Taking one petal at a time, we place them along the bud. While the rose is drying up, let's go back to the stem. The leaves were stuck, so let's roll the leaves a little bit along the stem. Now, opening them out a little bit, and let's take a scissor to create the part of the stem which will stick at the base of the rose. For this, we will make three cuts in the stem. Check if your rose has dried fairly well. And then, placing glue on the stem, paste it at the base of the rose. Once the rose has dried, it's ready to be given as a gift or to simply be displayed as decor in your house. A small edit or a small addition to this is, if you want to add some more substance to your leaves, you can make smaller cuts on the edges to help them resemble the leaves of the plant of a rose. Or 
You can make cuts and pluck out smaller pieces of the leaves to give it a real look and feel. If you've used the glitter, your rose is ready to go.